Do you think I can pack for a seven night trip in this bag? We'll find out. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Haley. I'm the author of Haley with a Flair, which is a travel blog. If you are new to this channel, please hit subscribe and follow me over here on social. I'd greatly appreciate it. So yes, I'm not crazy. You can pack for seven nights in a bag like this. I have a table full of clothes, accessories, etc., and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this bag right here, I'm gonna link it down below, is the approved under the seat bag for Spirit Airlines, Frontier Airlines, United. So if you are flying on one of those airlines or on a basic economy ticket, likelihood of you only being allowed a personal item is what's going to happen. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, so let's get going. So one of the biggest things that I can recommend for packing in a bag like this if you are trying to save are these kind of bags. I've used them a few times, that's why they're so wrinkled but they are vacuum sealed bags without needing a vacuum. You just roll and it shrinks all the air out of it. They are amazing. So personal item, ladies, don't get scared. I always use a crossbody bag, like a simple crossbody bag. I've never been stopped with it outside my body, but I've made sure that it's small enough that I can put back in the suitcase if they do throw a fit about it. I've never been stopped for it and I've flown these type of airlines over 10 times so <laughs> that is one of the other things if you are worried about a purse that you need to keep in mind another tip that i have for you is wear your bulkiest shoe so if that are your sneakers or your boots or whatever you're wearing wear your bulkiest shoe to the airport so you can pack flats and flip flops in your suitcase to take up less room another tip that i'm going to give you speaking of shoes is utilize your shoe space Stuff your socks, underwear, jewelry, and your shoes. That's just empty space. Next tip, I'm huge on organizing. I got this little wire organizing bag from eBags. It's absolutely wonderful. You guys know I bring a ton of gear, but it's just, it's delightful. I like to have all my chargers in one spot so they aren't floating all over the bag. All right, let's get started on the actual packing. So this item in our packing is gonna be a tentative because usually what I do, I even have a smaller one that I bring, is if I'm gonna be somewhere for a week, I will Amazon Prime myself shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste to wherever I'm staying. I've done it at Disney. I've done it at a hotel before I go on a cruise. Um, that's kind of my go-to just to take up less room in the bag. But I grabbed a bigger one just to show you guys that you can fit those travel size items in a good size toiletry bag. Okay, so for clothes here, I have four dresses three pairs of shorts and four shirts. That is more than enough for a week. Depending on where I'm going, I will even potentially bring less because if I have access to a washer or dryer, I'll just wash my clothes while I'm there. So we're gonna put these in the bag. I also have a bikini and a cover up here, a nightgown, and I have bras and underwear. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get started on the bags and I'm going to show you how I layer those in. All right, so I put the dresses in here. Now keep in mind, there is a maxi dress in here. So this is a full length, heavy style dress. As is, this alone would take up the entire bulk of this suitcase. So all you have to do with these bags is leave about an inch or so from the top. Leave an inch or so from the top. Not sure if you can hear that. <laughs> um, and then you're gonna start rolling. and roll it a pinch more until it's sealed. So now I'm gonna grab our bag, plop this over, shift this in one side of our bag. So here we are. <laughs> All right, let's get started on the next bag. All right, next bag in the suitcase. 
All right, ladies, if you are well endowed and are packing a cup bra like myself, what I do with these is I fold them on the inside and I put them in a corner in the bag. This way they take up less space. So I usually save underwear for last because I just kind of take them and stuff them in around the sides because they can really squeeze down and fit anywhere. I mean, if you don't wear underwear, that's even more space you have to use for other things. And there you guys go. Easy peasy. <laughs> well, not necessarily easy peasy. This can be a very stressful way to pack. I mean, you really have no room for margins. And sometimes you can get a little bit more room if you roll your clothes and then put them in the bag. But I wanted to show you the worst case scenario. <laughs> but you know, something to keep in mind is if you're getting a really cheap ticket, especially on Spirit, Frontier, even if you buy a checked bag or upgrade a carry-on bag, you're still coming out miles ahead versus what a different airline would charge you. I remember I flew to Orlando with Olivia once. I threw, I flew $39. Her ticket was free with the Frontier Kids Buy One Get One Free or Kids Fly Free, pardon me. And I upgraded the carry-on bag. I didn't want the stress of having to throw everything in here. I have gone on a four-night cruise with this bag I have done weekend trips with this bag. A week can be a little tight, I'm gonna warn you. I typically don't pack a full seven outfits, I'll pack five um, when I'm going somewhere. So these are little tips. So let me know if you've flown any of those airlines, if this helped. Also, side note, this bag, I forgot, I shoved chargers in here, has a charger compartment at the top. So I'll link to this bag, I'll link to some of the products down there. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.